North Carolina steamrolled its way past NC State to become bowl eligible for the first time since 2016. Early on, State looked like the more prepared team in the rain, as UNC looked like it was on a slip and slide. When you add in a blown coverage, a bad turnover, and red zone inefficiencies, UNC really looked all out of sorts for the first 30 minutes. The first half was so disappointing to watch because of the fact it was clear UNC had a superior advantage when it came to both players and coaches. And then the second half happened, where Carolina began to execute and NC State showed why it's one of the worst teams in Power 5 in college football. Credit to Jay Bateman and his players for pitching a shutout in the second half. North Carolina created four turnovers, five if you count the turnover on downs, which set the offense up for a lot of short field opportunities to which the Tar Heels capitalized on. After punting on its first possession after halftime, UNC scored touchdowns on its next five possessions. And if the clock hadn't run out, its backups were even marching their way down the field against State's first team defense. Which takes me back to a point I've harped on from the beginning of the season. Play calling isn't behind Carolina's struggles. It's execution. UNC missed reads early and it stumbled. UNC executed its game plan in the second half, and it blew the doors off NC State. Now this team can ride this wave of momentum all the way to a bowl game.